okay hello guys welcome back to our youtube channel and uh, today we are going to solve the third question from the rate code contest 411 okay so the question says you are given two values one is n okay sorry so you are given two values one is n and one is k okay so basically you need to simply return a string a string uh, which has a size of n you, you basically need to return a string uh, which has a size of n and uh, that string whatever the string that you are uh, returning let us call it as s whatever the string that you are uh, returning it should be a palindromic string okay it should be a palindrome as well as uh, it should be divisible by k this string whatever string that you are generating it should be divisible by k as well as it should be the palindrome and one more thing it should be the largest and what do you mean what do you, what do i mean by the largest means uh, for example for example if n is 3 uh, can i say i, I can uh, generate a number something like 121 which is a palindrome yes but is this the largest no if you see here i can do something like this as well instead of 121 i can go with 999 this is also palindrome right so this is largest for if i have n is equal to 3 right so in that way for any different n value you need to simply generate a string which is divisible by k as well as that string should be palindrome and it should be the largest okay among all the digits so this is basically the question and one more point that you need to notice here there are no uh, the string that you're generating will not have or must not have leading zeros fine okay now let us see some examples so you can uh, here itself we can see the sample input input and output for n equal to 3 and k is equal to 5 here he has generated a string which is of length 3 and this string 595 is a palindrome and it is divisible by 5 and he is simply returning the string okay so for n equal to 1 k is equal to 4 our answer is simply 8 because 4 is 8 is divisible by 4 so you are simply returning the answer and you can have a look at the third test case so this is pretty much the question so how do we solve this that is the answer like how that is the logic like how do we solve this question now if you see if you see uh, just a second <clears throat> if you see here if you see here for any different n value what you can do is you can generate all the numbers of length n right we can simply generate you can simply generate all the numbers of length n and then simply check whether it is a uh, divisible by k or not and if it is divisible by k then simply check whether it is a palindrome or not and if it is a palindrome and simply store in a result variable right you can do something like this yes or no no you cannot do something like this because because if you see the constraints if you see the constraints here n value is 10 to the power of 5 <coughs> sorry so here n value is 10 to the power of 5 like what is the meaning of that whatever the number that you're generating the value is not 10 to the power of 5 right the number of digits you will be having in a number is 10 to the power of 5 for example if n is 2 if n is 2 then you might end up uh, by generating a value 96 and if n is 4 you might end up generating a number something like this but if the value is 10 square which is 100 uh, if it is if it is 10 square then you will generate a number which has 100 digits in that number so can you convert this 100 digit number from a string to an integer no you cannot because you cannot there is no any data structure for that like you cannot store it in any primitive data type so it is not possible okay so okay i understand that we cannot generate that we oh. so i understand that that we cannot generate all the uh, numbers because there is no data type to store then what should we do then what should we do here here for this question the logic is pretty much simple and it all depends on only one thing which is and it all depends on only one thing which is divisibility rules 
divisibility rules okay you just need to know how a number x is divisible by 1 2 3 4 and so on and here if you see there is a catch here if you see there is a catch what is the catch the catch is this value k value if you see the k value it is very low it can go from 1 till 9 do you see this the k value is very low so by this by this observation maybe you can write something maybe you can write a code what is the code okay okay now we have understood the entire question and we have uh, made one observation is that we cannot use any primitive data types we cannot generate all the possible paths right and the k value is very low here okay that is the observation that we have made till now now let us go to the logic let us move forward to the logic here so first thing that you need to observe here is first thing that you need to observe here is let us assume let us assume uh, that k value is let us assume that k value is 1 that k value is 1 okay and uh, can you generate a number n uh, which is palindromic and which is which should be divisible by k for k value any value is divisible any value is divisible right it can be 2 it can be 3 it can be 4 any value is divisible but you need to consider the highest value which should be palindromic and which should be divisible by k and which should be the largest so what is the value here exactly the value is nothing but 9 right and let us assume that k value is 3 can you think of a number can you so here here n value is uh, let us assume uh, we have different scenarios this is only for n equal to 1 and what if n is equal to 2 forget about this k equal to 3 what if n is equal to 2 what if what if n is equal to 4 and uh, what if n is equal to 5 okay so for k equal to 1 this is our answer what about n equal to 2 any value right 99 is our answer what about n equal to 4 triple 4 is our answer and for n equal to 5 uh, triple 4 plus 1 9 is our answer right because any value is divisible by 1 basic mathematics and now let us go for this case what if n is equal to 3 what if n is equal to 3 and n value is 1 what is your answer if you see here 9 is divisible by 3 and 9 is the largest digit that you can have for n equal to 1 therefore your answer for k equal to 3 and for n equal to 1 is 9 what about 2 exactly 99 what about 4 the same 9999 what about n equal to 5 the same uh, the same because 9 is divisible by 3 hence uh, something like now what about k is equal to 9 the number 9 itself is divisible by 9 right so for n equal to 1 the answer is same and for n equal to 2 the answer is same and for n equal to 4 <coughs> the answer is same and uh, n equal to 5 the answer is same so by this what do you understand <clears throat> by this what do you understand so if the k value is 1 uh, 3 9 simply generate a string which has all nines in it and return it yes or no since the code is going to be very long what i will do is i will explain one piece of logic and i will write the code and i will explain one piece of logic and i will write the code okay we will do that parallel now we have discussed the scenario for k is equal to 1 k is equal to 3 and k is equal to 9 let us simply write the code for this okay so the code looks pretty much uh, so if you see here here it is uh, my console is there so so first one first one if k is equal to 1 or k is equal to 3 or let me increase the brightness okay if k is equal to 9 then what i'm gonna do is i, I will simply generate a string okay so i can use an inbuilt function string okay of length n and i will simply insert only 9 in each one of these index and i will simply return it okay this is one of the base condition 
like this is the same answer for k equal to 1 k equal to 3 and k is equal to 9 now here let us go for rest of the cases what if k is equal to 2 what if k is equal to so what do you think our answer is for k is equal to 2 if you see here if you see here for k is equal to 2 okay let us focus on the first one for n equal to 9 can you think of a number which is the largest and is palindromic and as well as it should be divisible by 2 can you think of a number yes 8 see 6 is also palindromic divisible by 2 but it is not the largest but 8 is the largest and it is divisible by 2 and as well as it is palindromic what about n equal to 2 what about n equal to 2 can i simply say it is simply nothing but 98 you will see the logic as we move forward okay well, what about n equal to 4 9 9 9 and then 8 what about n equal to 5 9 9 9 9 and then 8 so what did you observe here what did you observe here so what is the divisibility rule of uh, 2 the last digit of the string that you have generated should be an even number right and we want the highest value highest number that is why we are taking the last value as 8 and the first uh, n minus 1 characters are nothing but the highest value which is 9 right so you see, you have seen the observation here so what we are going to do is we are going to simply place a 8 at the last index and the rest of the characters are nothing but 9 understood so let us write the code for k equal to 2 okay so since uh, the code is going to be very big uh, what I will do is I will uh, try to use functions here okay I will try to use functions okay so, uh, or let's say handle to okay so here I will pass the k value or n value so here I am gonna simply <clears throat> Uh, use this function which is handle to uh, int n okay so here what if n is equal to 1 what if n is equal to 1 we have seen we will simply return the largest digit and it is divisible by 2 which is 8 if not if not then I am going to simply declare a variable result which has n length and all the digits is filled with 9 okay and then and then if you see here we missed one thing is that okay we have understood why we are placing the last digit as 8 but once you place the last digit as 8 is it palindrome this is not a palindrome right and to make this as palindrome what we need to do exactly we need to simply change the first character as well which is 8 we need to place the first character as 8 so what i will do is uh, result of 0 is equal to 8 result of n minus 1 is equal to 8 and then i am going to simply return the result so this function handles for k equal to 2 okay now here this is going to return now i will write the code for k equal to 3 okay k equal to 3 is already handled in the if condition so i don't need to take care of that now I will need to handle for k is equal to 4. Simply return handle 4 of n. So let me declare string handle 4 of n to n. So what is the logic for k is equal to 4? What if k is equal to 4 and what is the logic? So, so for k is equal to 4, like think what is the divisibility rule of k is equal to 4 what is the divisibility rule of k is equal to 4 if i have only one n value if i have only one n value like what is the value that is divisible by 4 exactly it is simply nothing but 8 and what is the value that is divisible by 4 and for n equal to 2 exactly it is nothing but 88 what about n equal to 4 n equal to 4 uh, can i simply say if you even if you look up into a google search or anything 
this will be your answer and for n equal to 5 your answer is simply gonna be something like this but again the same thing happening here if you are changing any digits in the last from the last then you need to make the same changes from the beginning because it is because we want the because we want the palindromic uh, condition should be satisfied so what did you observe here first of all what is the divisibility rule what is the divisibility rule of uh, k equal to 4 so the divisibility rule is nothing but let's say you have few number of digits something like this let's assume uh, 0th index first index second index third fourth and uh, fifth so to know whether a number is divisible by 4 or not the last two digits will form a number right don't think them as separate digits combine them they are a number so if i see here let us call it as 6 4 don't take them separately 6 4 take them combinedly as a digit as a number 64 so let us call this as x so you need to simply check if this x is divisible by 4 or not if it is divisible by 4 then the entire number is divisible by 4 so the divisibility rule of 4 is nothing but the last two digits combined should be divisible by 4 if it is divisible by 4 then the entire number will also be divisible by 4 but here if let's assume that the input itself is uh, let's assume that we have generated a number where the last two digits are divisible by 4 but can you return can you return it no right right why is that because because we want the maximum value here we want the maximum value and what is the maximum value just now we have seen which is 88 88 is the maximum value that you can place on the last two index so you are going to simply place 8 here 8 here but if you make any changes at the end you need to make the same changes in the beginning as well right because we want to satisfy the palindromic condition as well so let us uh, write the code for handle 4 so again we will uh, put the same condition if n is equal to 1 then i am going to simply return 8 here then i am going to simply return 8 and uh, we need to pass this another string 8 if assume if assume if the string is greater than so i will generate a string of length n and each character uh, each character by default will be having a value 9 okay so result of 0 uh, result of 0 is nothing but 8 result of 0 is nothing but 8 and uh, result of 1 is also nothing but 8 and the same thing goes on for result of n minus 1 is 8 and the result of n minus 2 is also 8 okay and then i'm gonna simply return the result here and let us put one more condition here if n is equal to 2 return 88 okay because because from the n equal to 3 from if n is equal to 3 <laughs> if n is equal to 3 uh, not n is equal to 3 if n is equal to 5 you will be starting to see the 9 value okay till n is equal to 3 you cannot see the 9 value so that is why i have in simply inserted for n is equal to 2 okay so this is how we are going to handle for k is equal to 4 now let us write the function for k is equal to 6 not 6 5 handle 5 in 10 so let me copy this so else if k is equal to equal to 5 then i am going to simply call this function uh, which is handle 5 with the value n now let us see how do we handle for k is equal to 5 so if you see here if you see here for k is equal to 5 just think for n equal to 1 what is the largest and what is the palindromic and what is the divisor if it and, and uh, if it is divisible by k or not what is that number here what is the x number here can i simply say 5 yes what about n equal to 2 can i simply say it is 95 what about n equal to 4 can i simply say triple uh, nine followed by 1 5 what about n is equal to 5 it is simply nothing but this and we are checking only for divisibility nature now 
we need to satisfy it for palindromic nature as well which is once you make any changes you need to make the respective changes in the beginning as well which is five 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 here so what did you observe here so what is the divisibility uh, rule of an uh, k equal to five what is the divisibility rule of k equal to five if you see here if you see here the last digit the last digit can be either five or can be either zero if the last digit is five then it is divisible by then the entire number is divisible by five if the last digit is zero then the entire number is divisible by five okay but if you see here i can go with five or i can go with zero which one should i go with should i go with five or should i go with zero obviously you should not go with zero and why is that because in the question he clearly mentioned that the result should not have any leading zeros even even let's say uh, leading zeros are allowed let us assume that leading zeros are allowed then will you consider zero no you will consider five why is that because the number that we are generating should be the largest hence five is greater than zero obviously i will consider five only why will i consider a zero right so how do we handle so how do we handle for k equal to five simply make the last digit as five and the first digit as five right now let us write the code for this so so first if n is equal to five then i'm going to simply return a value five okay or else i'm going to generate a resultant string which contains all nines in it initially okay and then result of zero is equal to five and then result of in minus one is equal to five obviously it is going to be a character five and then i'm going to simply return the result that's it this is how uh, we can handle for k equal to five and the next one the next one is handling six so int n let me write the condition here else if k is equal to six return handle six of n so how do we handle for k equal to six uh, for handling the k equal to six and k equal to say, uh, seven scenario it is going to be very uh, different and difficult as well because there are a lot of conditions that you need to make here okay so the first one is first let us put our main focus on k equal to six so what is the answer here for k equal to six if you see here for k equal to six and n is equal to one uh, your answer is nothing but six itself your answer is nothing but six itself and what about uh, n equal to two what is the largest number that is divisible by k and as well as it should be palindromic what is the uh, number here can i simply say it is six and six <laughs> yes or no okay what about what about uh, for n equal to four what about for n equal to four can i simply say something like this okay what about for n equal to five what about for n equal to five okay try to guess this and uh, let us discuss the logic here first like what is the divisibility rule we will discuss that and for n equal to five first tell me what is the divisibility rule for k equal to six what is the divisibility rule for k equal to six if you see here if you see here let's put our main focus on only one thing which is let's say we have some numbers here and uh, k is equal to six this six value is, can be divisible by two and it can be divisible by three right so whatever the number that you are generating should be divisible by two and should be divisible by three so we need to generate that kind of a string okay we need to generate that kind of a string so can you tell me how do we make that possible first forget about everything just 
put your main focus on this put your main focus on this let's say let's say uh, i have n value as how many do we have three three six let's say i have n value as six not six let us assume seven first okay let us assume that my n value is seven and we know that we need to we want to consider the largest value so what i'm going to do is i will simply place nine 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 over here now is this value divisible by two or not uh, you can go and check ahead let's assume let's assume but even if this value is divisible by six it is not holding the property right which is it should be divisible by two as well so what shall we do here how do we make this number uh, should be divisible by two we have just seen right simply uh, change the last digit to eight and change the first digit to eight now you are done with the first one which is divisible by two you have achieved that now what is the next thing the next thing is the number should the entire number should be divisible by three how will you check that how will you check that that the entire number should be divisible by three if you see if you see here let us call this as end sum okay let us let me call this both as end sum and let me call this as middle sum okay so the total sum so the total sum here n value is odd right so here the n value is odd so here what will i do is what will i do is i will calculate total sum here total sum is equal to end sum plus middle sum and here depending on the n value i will do some i will do some modifications here and what are the modifications what are the modifications is if if total sum modulo 3 is equal to equal to 1 if the total sum modulo 3 is equal to equal to 1 then i need to make some changes here and what change do i need to make here exactly i need to uh, change one digit from this entire string which digit is it going to be here which digit should i change here so if the remainder is one i need to simply decrement one value right i need to simply decrement one value here can i change this i cannot right if i place this as eight i need to change this as well because it it's need it needs to be satisfied with the palindromic property so this is not possible so what shall i do here exactly if you see here if you see here this string this entire string is of odd length then what would i what will i do i will simply place eight in the middle of the string okay i will simply place eight in the middle of the string and let's assume let's assume that the total sum modulo 3 i got is 2 let us assume that the total sum modulo that i got is 2 in that case what should i do in that case what should i do i need to change one number to 7 right then which number can i change can i change this no if i change this i need to change this as well so i need to use the length of the string property which is here it is odd then i will simply change this to 7 right so and we can only do this we can only change the we can only change middle element if n modulo 2 is equal to 1 and if n modulo 2 is equal to 0 then what should i do then what should i do the same condition will be holding uh, for example 9 9 9 nine nine and nine six digits it is uh even length of the string is even so if this condition is true i need to change one number right which one should i change if you see here if you see here uh how many mids are there for an even for an even length string two mids right two mids because uh technically there is no one mid uh, for an even length string this is mid one and this is mid 2 what i'm going to do is i will simply place this as 8 and this one as 8 
if the first condition is true or else to 7 and to 7 if the second condition is true and then I'm going to simply return the entire result okay that is what we can do okay so let us write the code for this so handle 6 is over here so what is the first thing what is the first thing that we need to do so first base condition if n is equal to 1 then I'm going to simply return 6 and if n is equal to 2 then I'm going to simply return 66 okay and for string greater than uh, uh, greater than 2 what I will do is I will generate all strings I mean I will simply uh, by default the n length string will contain 9 uh, at each index 9 okay and then the result of 0 is equal to 8 okay result of n minus 1 okay we need to put something here no result of n minus 1 is equal to 8 and then what we need to do we need to find the middle sum right so int middle sum is equal to first we are placing all nines right so it, and we are placing nines if you see here if you see here for n equal to 6 first we are creating 6 characters of a string and then we are replacing this to 8 right so what i will do is 9 into n minus 2 because 9 is repeated n minus 2 number of times right so middle sum is going to be 9 into n minus okay and uh, total sum is going to be 8 plus 8 plus middle sum right so now you need to use the conditions which is if the string length is even if the string length is odd then what are you going to do here if n modulo 2 is equal to 1 then what will i do then then what will I do here if total sum if total sum modulo 3 is equal to equal to 1 then I am going to simply change the middle element result of n by 2 is equal to 8 else if total sum is equal to equal to sorry total sum modulo modulo 3 is equal to equal to 2 then result of n by 2 is equal to 7 right so if the length of the string is not odd what if the length of the string is even then 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 there will be two mids right let us call it as mid a is equal to uh, n by 2 minus 1 and then mid b is equal to n by 2 right these are the two mids that i can have if the length of the string is even okay so here total sum modulo 3 is equal to equal to 1 then i am going to simply make the something like this result of mid a is equal to result of mid b is equal to 7 okay else if else if total sum modulo 3 is equal to equal to 2 then result of mid a is equal to result of mid b is equal to 8 okay so this is how we can handle for k is equal to uh, 6 and now we are left only with two cases which, which is k equal to 7 and k is equal to 8 so string handle 7 int n or did i write uh, handle 6 yes handle 7 and here else if k is equal to equal to 7 return handle 6 handle 7 of k right so let us see how do we handle for k equal to 7 here so if you see if you see, if you see here for k equal to 7 like what can we do for k equal to 7 tell me so here our answer is going to be 7 
and here our answer is going to be 77 but what about for uh, different numbers what about for n equal to 3 and what and for n equal to 4 and for n equal to 5 and so on like what do you think that we can do here what is the divisibility rule for k equal to 7 that is something that we need to figure out here okay and we don't know like the divisibility rule for k equal to 7 because there is no divisibility rule for k equal to 7 but there is one observation but there is one observation here if you open the calculator or calcium you can do something like this okay uh, for k equal to 7 let us take the n value as 6 okay let us take the n value as 6 now here 6 means we will be having 6 indices right and each of them let us assume each of them is having a value of 7 let us assume that each of them is having no no not each each of them let us assume that we have only 9 here 9 9 9 9 9 so here this string is not divisible by uh, k equal to 7 so if that is the case then what shall we do okay let us take odd length if that is the case then what shall we do that is my question so if you see if you see what you can understand is what you can understand is this number is not divisible by 7 okay change this value to 8 and check whether it is divisible by 7 or not if still it is not divisible by 7 then change this value to 7 if check whether it is divisible by 7 or not and simply decrement this value by 1 again and check whether it is divisible by 7 or not and you can simply go on and you can simply do something like this and once you found by changing this value the entire number is divisible by 7 then this is your answer okay but okay how it is working this is just an observation okay we want the maximum value that should be divisible by 7 hence take some uh, default n values take some an n value of uh, 10 n value as 7 n value as 9 and see what is the answer that you get you will get an answer where the first n minus 3 digits and the last n minus 3 digits are going to be the same and the middle element is only the element that is going to change for each and every element for each and every n value so okay but there is one problem here the problem is okay i just told you to change this value uh, to another value which is 8 and then i told you to check this entire number is divisible by uh, a, a k value or not which is here triple nine followed by one eight and then triple nine now i am telling you to check this number is divisible by k or not but the problem is i just told you in the beginning that you cannot convert this string into a number because it is 10 to the power of 5 digits right in the first case so how do we make that happen okay here what you can do is to overcome this problem you can simply use modular arithmetic you can simply use modular arithmetic so that you will your answer will lie in the given range itself only we will try to calculate the remainder on the flight and then we will keep on checking okay and this is for n is equal to 7 right this is for n is equal to 7 what if n is equal to 6 which means uh, we don't we will not be having this 9 here we will be having 3 nines followed by 3 nines then which value should i change here uh, if the string length is even then you will be having two mids right change both the values change both the values changes to 8 and 8 check change this to 7 and 7 check change this to 6 and 6 check once you found your answer return okay that is what uh, we are going to do for n is equal to uh, even length and for odd length for only case 7 now let us handle the case for k equal to 7 okay so what is the first thing what is the first thing first let us write the few basic conditions if n value is 1 then i will simply return 7 if n value is 2 simply return 77 if this is not the case then simply generate a string result of n length and uh, at each index you need to have the value 9 okay 
now here now here check if n modulo 2 is equal to equal to 0 or not you are simply checking whether the string length is even or not even or odd so here it is even then you know that there will be two bits bit a is equal to n by 2 minus 1 n by 2 minus 1 and uh, into mid, uh, mid b is equal to n by 2 right so now you need to simply change only these mid position values but how do you change that since uh, a digit can have only from index 0 like value 0 to value 9 so what i will do so what i will do i will simply write a loop from int i is equal to 9 till i greater than or equal to 0 i minus minus okay okay understood then what shall we do here here you can simply do something like this mid a result of mid a and uh, result of mid b is equal to uh, we need to uh, store this i value as a string right as a character in the string so i will do 0 plus i okay so now i have changed the mid values okay i have simply changed the mid values now what should i do now here i need to calculate the so what did i told you previously Ch uh, change this entire string convert this entire string from string to integer and then check the check whether it is divisible by divisible by k or not but we cannot do that because it is digits 10 to the power of 5 digits now for that what we are going to use is module arithmetic so at the end of the day we just want the reminder we don't want the number we don't we don't want what digits are there what number it is we don't want any of that we just want the reminder so for that i have declared a variable called as reminder so here i know that how many digits are there okay so int j is equal to 0 j less than n j plus plus i will simply iterate on it okay so remainder is equal to remainder into 10 i will say how do i convert this entire number into a this entire string into a number uh, remainder is equal to remainder into 10 plus plus what is that result of j minus 0 right this is how we are going to simply convert a string into a number but we just want the reminder so at the end of the day i will simply do a modulo 7 okay i just want i will simply do a modulo 7 and after doing that if at the end of the day at the end of the day if the reminder is equal to equal to 0 then i will simply return the result if and only if the remainder is equal to 0 then i will simply return the result got it and uh, you might be thinking what if i never enter this condition it's not like you will never enter the condition you will always enter this condition okay now let us go for the else case in the else case we have only one bit int mid is equal to n by 2 and uh, we will do the same thing int i is equal to 9 i greater than or equal to 0 i minus minus result of mid is equal to 0 plus i and then we will maintain the remainder <coughs> we will maintain the remainder and uh, i'm gonna simply iterate from uh, j is equal to 0 j less than n j plus plus now here it is going to be remainder is equal to remainder into 10 plus result of j minus 0 modulo 7 and at the end of the day if uh, remainder is equal to equal to 0 return result okay that's it this is how uh, for k equal to 7 it, it is going to work okay and uh, we need to simply return some default value right because this function is expecting some value so return minus one we will never enter here but i am simply writing it because that is the syntax of a function and what is the last function which is handle 8 handle 8 int n and uh, here else if k is equal to 8 simply return handle 8 of n so what is the answer for this 
so for k equal to 8 again it is pretty much simple for k equal to 8 again it is pretty much simple if you see for k is equal to 8 let us assume n is equal to 1 what is our answer it is simply nothing but 8 and uh, for what about for n equal to 2 it is simply nothing but 88 what about for n equal to 3 it is simply nothing but triple 8 what about for n equal to 4 exactly it is also nothing but double eight double eight what about for n equal to five double eight nine followed by double eight what about for n is equal to six i'm sorry uh, for n equal to eight it is not this and it is simply this what about for this is for five four three two and one what about for n is equal to 6? Exactly. 3 8s followed by 3 8s. And what about for n equal to 7? Uh, 3 8s at the last 3 8s. And in the beginning, the highest digit that you can have, which is 9 here. So do you understood any observation from here? What is the divisibility rule for k equal to 8 what is the divisibility rule for k equal to 8 for what is the divisibility rule for k equal to 4 the last two digits forming a number should be divisible by 4 and the same thing goes here as well the longer the last three digits here for k equal to 8 it, it is nothing but last three digits forming a number should be divisible by 8 and if it is divisible by 8 then you are good to go but again one thing arises is that if the last three digits are changing then the first three digits should also change right exactly the same thing happened here so we are simply changing the last three digits but if you change this you also need to change the first three digits as well right that's it now let me write the code for this for handling k is equal to 8 if n is equal to one i will simply return this and uh, if n is equal to equal to two then i will simply return this and if n is equal to uh, four i will simply return this and if n is equal to five then i will simply return this if n is equal to six i will simply return this if not if not then i will dictate a variable int result of length n and each of the digit in this string should be of 9 okay then result of 0 is equal to 8 result of 1 is equal to 8 result of 2 is also equal to 8 then result of n minus 1 is equal to 8 then result of n minus 2 is equal to 8 then result of n minus 3 is also equal to 8 and at the end simply return the result that's it guys i hope we have handled all the cases let us run the code so let us have a cross check here so you are we are simply handling here and this function is will expect something right i will simply return minus one here we will not enter here but just for the sake okay we are getting some compiled error okay i understood i understood 15th line here we need to pass not a string but a character uh, did i make the same mistake in the different cases yes okay let me run the code <laughs> line 56 should expect something uh, just i told you right functions behave like this you if you return an integer then it will expect some return value at the end of the function and here we are expecting string so i have written string okay the first two cases are passing but not the third case which is 
k equal to 6. So let's see uh, where did we go wrong for k equal to uh, 6. First, did we are we calling the k equal to 6? Yes. So this is the handle k is equal to 6. So let us see. Um, we are declaring a string result 0 as 8 and minus 1 as yes, 8 and a total sum is nothing but 8 plus 8 plus model sum and if uh, this odd fine fine let the result of okay okay Okay, we are not returning in the function, right? We need to return that uh, outside the function. Yeah. Right. Accept. Our code got submitted. Yeah, guys. Uh, so this is the the third question explanation. And uh, if you like the video, do hit that like, share, and subscribe button. And uh, follow Smart Interviews for more content. See you in the next video.